We think that the entire equivalent volume of the ocean cycles through the ocean crust on the order of every 100,000 years. And that sounds like not that fast, but that's um, uh, important on geologic time scales. And at any given moment in time, probably about 2% of the ocean's water volume is in those rocks. And we wanted to study the microbes living in that rock. So our study site is out in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, on the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. Our uh, experiments are sitting on the seafloor at four and a half kilometers below the sea surface, and they go into the seafloor several hundred meters. So we're sending the ROV Jason down through that four and a half kilometers of water. When you drive up with one of these robots to our um, experimental platform, what you're seeing is just the surface expression of one of these wells. Inside of that platform are basically faucets or spigots connected to hoses that run all the way down into the seafloor several hundred meters um, and access the rocks below and the water moving through those rocks. There's pressure sensors, there's temperature sensors, and for us, what we're excited about are our colonization experiments. So what we did is we prepared a bunch of little small chips of different types of rocks and put them in this environment to see of the microbes in the fluid that's moving around them, which microbes like to eat which kinds of rocks and how fast do they grow, you know, how, how many different types of microbes are on those rocks. So they've been down there incubating for about six years. One of the major objectives of this cruise was to recover the instrument strings. The way that we get those back is um, we open up the top of the cork and we attach a flotation package that we designed. So now that whole thing becomes positively buoyant and the floats have enough uh, strength to pull out our instrument string out of the hole, out of the seafloor and all the way up to the surface of the ship. And then we'll drive up with the ship and pick it up with a crane and bring it on board. We could then take apart those experiments and look at all those little rocks in really high resolution to see what microbes grew on them. We're also really curious about these microbes living on rocks in weird, cold, high pressure conditions because we're really fascinated by the idea that there might be microbes living on other planets. Those types of environments may exist on some ocean planets and ocean moons like Europa and Enceladus. So the more we can learn about how life can exist in those extreme conditions, gives us a better idea of what to look for in these other places.